Taylor immediately onto the front foot, looking to dominate right from the opening bell. Flicking out a jab, already landing, and already making Hahn look slightly uncomfortable on the end of a fairly light jab. Taylor slipping inside the jab of Hahn and trying to land the left hook to the chin. Really looks like she means business tonight. So Katie Taylor then looking to build some rhythm, to build on her timing and to land with solid successes and with frequent successes. But Jennifer Hahn has been managing to read a good deal of what Katie Taylor's been doing so far. Solid shot to the body with a left hook to the chin. That's better from Taylor. Then a follow-up with a jab. Smarter start to this, the third round. She's looking to punch with hand now. gaining the confidence to move on to the front foot at the end of this round. One of the questions posed in the build-up to the contest at the age of 35, at what stage would Katie Taylor start to slip? She laughed away the suggestions and said that she's still got much to do in this sport that she's graced for so long. She's been really clever with her jab, Katie Taylor. Good right hand. When she jabs, she moves her head off her line. She moves her head to her right. So there's no fear of getting caught with a jab while doing it. But given Hahn's long background in the featherweight division, although she has had a contest before tonight up at lightweight, she's saying. No signs at this stage of being overpowered. And if you look at them physically, she looks like the, big, the, bigger, the bigger woman in there. <laughs> 45 seconds to go in round five, heading towards the halfway stage of Katie Taylor's 13th world title fight in a career that's only 19 fights old as a professional. Single shots from Taylor. Connecting well, picking them well, the single jab, the single right hand, and then another single jab, and again. Brilliantly picked by Taylor at the end of that round, Andy. The last little sequence of Taylor, Taylor when Han attacked her, she drifted back. Han attacked her, she drifted back. And then when Han attacked her for the first time, she took a little half a step back. She didn't drift back and counted with a good sharp right hand. At times it's scrappy, but it's the extra quality of Katie Taylor's punches, a better technique, her speed. That's one of these rounds.
They're imploring Katie to keep going now. Kayleigh oh. upping the work rate here now, and Hahn goes down. She believes that she slipped. She waves at the referee. Noticeably, she looks up at the screen, perhaps looking at the time to see how much there's left in this round. And Taylor has upped the tempo in this round significantly. against Adrian Granados and now Katie Taylor looking to impress against Jennifer Hahn, making Hahn miss with a jab and just falling shy with the attempted counter. Katie Taylor's clearly winning this fight, but you can still see her desire to try and get a stoppage here or win every second of every round. That's what makes her so great. And it's the contrast of how, how ferocious she is in that ring to how nice and pleasant she is outside the ring. <laughs> Star contrast. The last instructions there from Louis Burke, who did work with the world super middleweight champion Austin Trout in the past had let it all hang out in there. Give it everything in this last round, he says to Jennifer Hahn. Whereas Ross Enemy is saying, push the pace to Katie Taylor. The last round of 10 in this fight for all four lightweight world title belts. Taylor has been producing much the stronger punches in the last couple of rounds, and they're varying the trajectory to the body and then to the head. Crunching left hook lands on the jaw of Hahn. But Hahn has been so strong in terms of resilience throughout this contest so far. Hahn still coming back at Taylor, still punching till the end. But Taylor, again with that overhand right, has the edge in power and in speed. And that's been the difference throughout the 10 rounds. Just under half a minute to go in the 10th and final round. Great Brilliant finish off. by Taylor. Can't you find a home for that left hook before the final bell? <laughs> bell sounds at the end of an emphatic final round for Katie Taylor as Jennifer Hahn raises her right glove and makes her way around the ring. After 10 rounds of boxing here at Emerald Headingley Stadium, Leeds, England, we go to the judges' scorecards. Phil Edwards, Leszek Jankowiak, and Luigi Boscarelli are in agreement. 100 to 89, all for your winner. By unanimous decision, she's still undefeated and still the undisputed lightweight champion of the world, Kay 